This presentation will introduce you to the Boeing 737 Automatic Flight Control System, or AFCS. It will discuss why the AFCS was developed, the major components of the system, system capabilities, and system operations, which will be demonstrated during a typical flight. As operating costs increased, the airlines demanded more efficient operation of their aircraft. In order to help meet that requirement, Boeing started offering a Performance Data Computer System, or PDCS. The PDCS provides the flight crew with readouts of target airspeeds and EPR for each phase of flight, from takeoff through landing or go around. The PDCS also provides other performance information, such as optimum flight level, ground speed, V-REF speeds, range, and fuel management considerations. To accomplish this, the PDCS receives data from many of the airplane systems. This data is used in conjunction with 737 performance data stored in the PDCS memory to calculate target airspeeds and EPRs. In order to take full advantage of the PDC calculated airspeeds and EPRs, the pilot must periodically monitor the PDCS for updated information and make the necessary thrust and airplane attitude adjustments. The next design step was to provide autopilot and auto throttle systems, which could be coupled directly to the PDCS to automatically maintain the optimum airspeeds and EPRs calculated by the PDC. The new automatic flight control system, or AFCS, has this capability to maintain PDCS optimum airspeeds and EPRs from just after takeoff through touchdown. Another driving force behind the development of the AFCS was the need for an auto flight system with lower approach minimums. The AFCS on the 737 has this capability. It is certified for Category 3A approaches with automatic landing or automatic go around. The major components of the AFCS include two independent autopilot flight director systems designated as A and B, an auto throttle, a mode control panel, the performance data computer, and two mode enunciator panels, one for each pilot. The mode control panel is located on the glare shield. All pilot inputs to the system are made on this panel. On the left end of the mode control panel are the captain's course selector and the flight director switch. Engaging the captain's flight director activates the flight director bars for the captain's ADI. The course selector sets the captain's VHF nav radio course and drives the course pointer on the captain's HSI to the selected value. Switches on the right side of the mode control panel provide the same controls for the first officer's system. The auto throttle arm switch is located next to the captain's flight director switch. This switch must be in the arm position for auto throttle operation. The auto throttle is always used in one of two modes, either to maintain an EPR limit supplied from the PDC or to maintain a desired airspeed. Level change and PDC are autopilot flight director pitch modes used for climbs or descents 
which will be discussed later in this presentation. The heading select mode commands the autopilot to turn to and maintain a selected heading. Turning the inner knob selects the heading. At the same time, the heading cursors on both HSIs are driven to the selected value. The square outer knob allows the pilot to select the maximum bank angle the autopilot or flight director will command. The Vorlope mode commands the autopilot to track a selected VOR radial or ILS localizer. The approach mode is used to track an ILS localizer and glide slope. The altitude hold mode will maintain an existing altitude when the mode is engaged. A desired level off altitude may be entered with the altitude selector. The selected altitude sets an altitude alert signal. And if the autopilot or flight director is active, it will command a level off at the selected altitude. The vertical speed mode allows the pilot to select a desired climb or descent rate. There are two autopilot engage paddles, one each for the A and B autopilot. Autopilot A uses the captain's nav radio and course selector, while autopilot B uses the first officer's nav systems. Each paddle has three positions, off, CWS for control wheel steering, and command. When an autopilot paddle is placed in the CWS position, the autopilot holds the pitch and roll attitude at the time of engagement. The pitch and roll attitude held by the autopilot can be varied by applying pressure to the control wheel or column. When pressure is released, the autopilot holds the new pitch and roll attitude. Placing an autopilot paddle in command engages the respective autopilot and enables the autopilot to operate in the selected mode. Let's take a moment to look at the PDC and level change modes. After new altitude has been selected, pushing the level change switch commands the autopilot flight director to initiate a climb or descent to that altitude. The autopilot flight director commands a climb or descent at the airspeed selected on the mode control panel. The PDC mode operates in the same manner except the airspeed window is blanked and the autopilot commands a climb or descent at the PDC calculated economy airspeed. All of the command modes we have just discussed can be either autopilot or flight director modes or both. The autopilot can be engaged without the flight director or the flight director without the autopilot or they can be used together when they are used together, they always operate in the same mode. The status of the AFCS is displayed on the flight mode enunciators on each pilot's panel. The first two columns on the left display flight director and autopilot modes. And the next column displays auto throttle modes. An armed mode is displayed with white letters on a black background. An engaged mode is displayed with black letters on a green background. The last column displays engaged PDC modes, which always appear with white letters on a black background. Autopilot status is displayed below the flight director and autopilot columns. Autopilot off is enunciated when the flight director is on, but the autopilot is off. Other enunciations indicate when the autopilot is operating in the control wheel steering mode or when a single autopilot is used in the approach mode. Autopilot and auto throttle disengage warning lights are also located on the flight mode enunciator. In order to demonstrate how the AFCS reduces pilot workload while flying the most economical airspeeds and power settings, we will observe a typical flight from takeoff to automatic landing. 